Hi, I'm Mike Damaris from Bentley College, class of 2006, and I'm here at the iRobot corporate headquarters to interview the co-founder and CEO, Colin Angle. iRobot Corporation was founded in 1990 by Colin Angle and two other roboticists from MIT. They have not only built robots for really cool projects like searching the Great Pyramids of Egypt and very important projects like searching through the World Trade Center rubble after the September 11th attacks and helping protect U.S. troops in Afghanistan and Iraq, but they are also responsible for the Roomba, the vacuum cleaning robot, which they have now sold one and a half million out worldwide. I'm currently majoring in business management and minoring in history with an interest in the U.S. military. I can't wait to talk to Colin about his professional success and some of the defining moments in his career. My first question, what was your major in college? I went to MIT and my major was electrical engineering with a bit of a minor in business. What led you to decide to start your own company? I had gotten involved uh, working with a professor at MIT uh, building robots. And my professor uh, came up to me and said, hey, um, I'm thinking of starting a company. And uh, I sort of jumped at the opportunity and said, okay, well, I'll run it. Can you just describe the process you go through from conception to design and manufacturing robots? The process today resembles nothing like in the beginning when we sat around the table and said, well, what do you want to build? Now it's understanding of the marketplace, invention of critical technologies, and trying to figure out what the right price point is. And once you have a very good understanding of all that, then starting to design the actual product. How did you realize that robots would be useful in the U.S. military? It's critically important to get soldiers out of the roles of being a policeman, where they are a constant target, um, uh, and uh, this is where robots can come in. What's the best part of your job? I've been lucky enough to have a company that's exciting and interesting has been able to attract people that can help me continue to learn. What are the challenges for manufacturing uh, robots for the government? Robots for the military are, are characterized by being um, relatively low volume. There have to be very, very high performance. Now contrast that with the consumer side where the challenge is, is trying to make them a very high quality but also in, in extraordinarily high numbers. Which of your accomplishments up until now are you most proud of? I'm proud of the fact that iRobot is a cool place to work. You know, you've got one life, and you get your choice, if you're lucky, where to spend it. And for people to decide they want to spend their life trying to make robots a practical reality is something I'm very proud of. Can you tell me what you consider to be the defining moment of your career? Certainly, launching the Roomba was probably the biggest single event in the company's history. What advice do you have for someone like me who's just getting ready to launch his own career? This is like the ideal time to chase some wacky ideas or find some people that you say, this guy can teach me. You know, I'm going to somehow figure out how to work for this person. Or, you know, don't feel like you have to go follow the uh, path that others have walked before, because you don't. And you can always decide to do that later. And the perspective that you bring, having walked a little off the track and then come back, will make that path all the more rewarding. <laughs>